Please subscribe to Likita Hetsi YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get early notifications on my latest YouTube video updates. What's up folks, this is Likita H. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to classify types of zoo animals. It's basically like we're going to classify if they're mammals, if they're reptiles, so whatever. Let's first check our data set. So we have both of them, we have zoo and the class. And this zoo file shows basically what we have to read and all. It shows the animal name, whether they have hair or no, if they have feathers, whether they give eggs, they give milk, they're airborne or so so on. And at the end we have our class type. Let me show you guys the class data set once. You guys will understand. Yes, here you go. So the class number one is mammal. It basically has 41 animals in the zoo. And the second type is bird. It has 20 animals. Third type is reptile. It has five animals. Fourth type is fish. It has 13 animals. Fourth type is fish. It has 13 animals. Fifth one is amphibian. It has four. Sixth one is bug. It has eight. The zoo has eight. And the seventh one is invertebra. That's it has 10. These are basically like the crab, lobster, octopus, scorpion and all those. And mammals are all of those like raccoons, cheetah, seal, so on, leopard, lion, all those. And then we have birds, crow, duck, anything you can say. And reptile, you can also take crocodile, all those tortoise, anything. Fish, you have... All these different types of fishes and seahorses also included. And then we have amphibian, we have frog, tod, and all these types. It has four. And in bug, we have honeybee, housefly, ladybird, moth, termite, all these. Now let's move back. Let's read our data set first. Before that, we have to import. So I'm going to import pandas. Import numpy. My plot lib and C1. And C1. Now let's read our data set. I'm going to name it as DF. I guess it's from CSV. Let's try CSV. If it's not, let's try Excel. Yes, here we have. It has 101 rows and 18 columns. Now let's check the information about this. Search. Yes, we have the column, the number of null and the data type. The number of non-null count, basically. How many values here are not null? And then we have the data type. If it's an object or integer. Anything, it can be a string, object, integer, anything. Now let's see the description about our data set. Let me show you guys what we have in this describe. You can see we have our count, we have our mean, we have standard deviation, minimum 25%, 50%, 75% maximum. Now let's plot a heat map. This heat map is going to show us the correlation of our data set. So let's say SNS, SNS is C bond. So let's say SNS dot heat, sorry, heat map df dot core. That's for getting the correlation. Let's set the annotation as true. Let's set the figure size. I'm going to say plt dot figure. Size is equal to it's gonna come in a square shape. Okay. Yes, guys. We have our heat map over here about all about the correlation. And if you see it's like almost perfect, other than a few things that there's no need to change. Let's move on. Now let's move on. Let's plot a count plot and let's see the count between 
all the columns or the features what we can call let's set the size first where it's gonna be messed up okay this account button let's set the x value as class type and the y value you guys uh, we can set we are seeing it for all the features so let's just not set the y value and i've set the label here yes We have the first type that's mammals. Yes, that's mammals. And we have the first type. The first, the count of the first type is more here. We can see that's the mammals. Yes, that's the mammals. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to import train test split for splitting our data sets. So I'm going to say from sklearn.model underscore selection import train test split. We're going to set our S value and X value and Y value. So here what we're going to get is we, we're going to get from the hair till the cat size. We're going to get the features to, from, from the hair till the cat size. And we're going to remove the animal name as it's not very important. And then I'm going to set the Y value to the class or to say which type it is. Okay. Yes. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fit this into a min-max scalar. So I'm going to say scalar is equal to min-max scalar x is equal to pt dot. We didn't import this. Okay, yes guys, we forgot to import the min max scalar, so let's do that. I'm gonna say from sklearn dot processing import min max scalar. Now let's run. Yes. Now we're going to divide our data set. I'm going to say x underscore train comma x test y train and y test is equal to train test split and test size let's set it as 30. Now we're going to import all the, you know, all the libraries that are needed for fitting this data set, basically for our model. I'm going to import SVC. I'm going to import SVC. Skyland.svm import. Oh. 
and then we're gonna import logistic regression And here and then we're gonna put and then we're gonna import KNEPAS classifier. I'm gonna say from SK oh sorry from SK learn from SK learn dot neighbors import K neighbors classifier. let's run now we're gonna get our model of svc model is equal to sorry. so svc model dot fit exchange comma y train and let's print the accuracy model dot score of x train and y train and then we're gonna get the test accuracy model dot score of x test and y test we have an accuracy we have a test accuracy and training accuracy both of them and now we're gonna get our range for our k neighbor classifier we're gonna first set our range let's set it from 1 to 50 And the weight options and guys if you guys don't know about k neighbors classifier like what the range is about what the weights are and about all those i made a video specifically for these things i'll link it in the description you guys can watch it let's continue i'm setting it as uniform and distance parameter grid is neighbor is equal to k range and the weights as the weight options whatever we have set p is equal to p now knn is we're gonna create a class here knn is k neighbors classifier I'm gonna say KNN grid is equal to grid search CV for selecting search CV and this the way of score what we want to get is accuracy. The number of times it has to run is 15 for getting the best parameter and then we're gonna say we're gonna fit this up let's print the best score on 10 folds 
and let's print the best parameter and also the best k in metric let's do that yes, four on ten false let data on We're gonna get our best score and now let's print the best parameter And now let's print the best metric. Let's print the training accuracy now. Then get it dot score of x train and y train. And the accuracy of our test accuracy. on this name error okay yes guys we forgot to input the grid search cv from sklearn dot model selection import grid search now let's try Till it runs, let's just keep continuing. I'm gonna see. We're gonna start for the logistic regression model. Yes, it's here. We have our test accuracy, training accuracy. We have the best KNN metric, best parameter, best score on 10 floats. Now we're gonna see for our lo logistic model. I'm gonna say logistic regression and the solver. And I made a video about this logistic regression also guys. I'll link it in, link it in the description. You guys can watch it. Let's set it to 1000. And now I'm going to say log model. It's basically a class. What I've done here. Log model is equal to logistic regression. It's a class. I'm going to say log model dot fit. X train and Y train. Let's print the accuracy. Print, let's print both the training and test. Training accuracy is log model dot score of x train comma y train. And for test accuracy, log underscore model dot score of this test comma sorry what is yes guys we have our training accuracy and testing accuracy for all three of them based on that we can select a model and export yes guys now we know how to create a model for classifying the types of animals that's great thank you guys please do like share subscribe and comment bye bye